when it also comes to the economy, this is the time we need look, tourism the most. Because when you talk about growing the Naira, growing the Naira, buying local, imagine if all the people who spend upwards of half a million every August going for summer in Hira, because they're at the point to be almost at the same pass industrialization in terms of revenue generation. So I'm, I'm excited about all these things. But now when it comes to um, increasing the potential of tourism in Nigeria, I start to agree with Mr. Sonny in that we have to do a bit more in terms of infrastructure. So for example, the roads have to be safer. Recently I traveled to um Jesha Waterfall in Oshun State, Oshun Ekiti State, and the roads were not too good. They were more terrible, but not too good. So the roads have to be improved. Security has to be improved, especially when you're talking about tourism in the north. The, to the north has awesome tourism potentials. Um, there was a documentary done online last year by um, Eddie T.F. Young called um, Northern Diaries, where he traveled to about six northern states and captured sites in the north. Um, for now, I'm excited about tourism in Nigeria, the potential, and what it could do for the economy. All right, what factors do you think contribute to Nigerians not exploring the myriad of tourist sites in Nigeria? Uh, I think my view will be, you know, be that different from his view, but he made the mention of Dubai. Like what I've said earlier on, uh, how do people come to your country and what encourage visitors? Is your airport, whether you like it or not. The foreigners have to tell good story about your country. And that's we encourage other people to come in. He made mention about Dubai. I live here. I don't talk of Dubai. But if you ever been to this country, I think the Dubai International Airport will be a, let me say, top, top 10 busiest airport in the world. But as at a time early this year, it was ranked as top 50 busiest in the world. So, I won't say that if you ever want to make people to visit your country, your airport security system and your time of delaying travelers means a lot. But in Nigeria, we haven't have that system, whereby even mean that I have a Nigeria passport coming to the country, I have to spend like a lot of hours, mostly in Lagos Airport. That's one of the reasons when I traveled December to Nigeria. I, Never use Lagos Airport. I use through Abuja. So we have to put these things in practice and make people uh, check in, make it a, a less time and encourage people to pass through. Um, I'll say one: there's infrastructure. So you have to have a good, um, you know, transport system. At least put air and land. The roads have to be safe and motorable. Your airport system has to be seamless. Secondly, I'll say it's in terms of us, I'll say it's our packaging, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So, for example, if you watch CNN now, there's an ad that goes on about, encourage, that encourages you to visit Dubai. And when you watch that ad, trust me, you would be excited about going to Dubai. Now, fine, we don't have to have CNN ads, but things as minute as having a website. For example, I plan to go to Yankari Game Reserve, but despite how important and how long the Ankara Game Reserve has been in Nigeria. They do not have a website. They do not even have a site where they have formally documented the information on the Ankara Game Reserve that this is how to get here, this is how much the rooms will cost. I have to go to sites like Naira Land and that is user generated content. That means it's people like me that are putting it. It is not well curated. It might not even be it might even be false. So we have to do more in terms of information and you know, communication from Europe, from the UK or anywhere, coming to Yankari Game Reserve, they will not be comfortable knowing there's no website that on this site. And this thing I'm saying it goes for almost all local sites in Nigeria. They do not have a website, they do not have a, an information board that people can go and get this information from. So we have to do better with that. And um, then, yeah, the infrastructure, then security, definitely. Security, definitely. Security is an issue with the spirit of kidnappings, with the issues in the north. People have to be um, certain that security is um, provided for. If those three are sorted, I think we are on a very good path. What role should the government be playing in making tourism attractive? Um, I think government has a moderate discussion. So I don't think the government should in invest in tourism 100%. But what I think is government should lead the conversation. So let's see public-private partnerships. That means tourism is a profitable venture. 
but let government bring in people who can invest in this. Just the way we've seen in the Lekki Koito Bridge and Ikoyi Bridge. So when people want to travel to these places, they do not mind spending a bit of money if they know comfort is assured, security is assured. So um, if I know by the present administration about a credit crunch and not enough funds to invest, but we're saying what we want to see is political will. So the government says this year we want to upgrade our facilities to world class and we are going to impose taxes on them. Now we want private investors. Trust me, the banks will come on. The banks will come up. The FMCGs will come up. But what, what we are seeing is government has been a bit like a about it. They have been they have been they have been, they have been more of shifting the box saying, oh, it's the state government responsibility, it's the federal government responsibility. So what I just want to see is political will. And when there's political will, I think other things will follow. You see public part, private partnerships. You would see you see even seriousness on the part of the people handling the facilities. As we speak now, who is the Minister of Tourism in Nigeria? I haven't heard anything about him since we are talking of uh, a global oil crisis that we don't really have enough money to fund most of our project in the country. I haven't heard anything from him saying that, okay, this is what we do and this is how we make uh, tourists an attraction area in Nigeria. I haven't heard anything from any minister from that industry. So when you're talking of the role of government, the role of government is to create that enabling environment for investors to come in. Like most of the investment you see in some of the countries in abroad, not really that government is the one spending all the money building those uh, sites, but they make the private uh, sector to come in and invest. At the long run, they know how to pay everything back. So if government wants to make that industry successful, they have to come up with policy that we encourage people to key in and contribute to develop a lot of tourist sites in the country. What about Nigerians? What should be their roles in making people abroad know about these sites that are in Nigeria? Okay. First, first, I want us to have a good review culture. What I mean is, uh, they have a good review culture. Once a person goes to a restaurant, most times it's natural or rude for them to just go online and post a review about that restaurant, the services and the ambience and the food. I want us to have that in terms of our local sites. So see, if um, Mr. Sonny has been to Obudu Katura, post about your experience on the blog, post it on your social media, it's going to constitute review material. Do you understand? You know, as I said, recently I wanted to go to Yankari, and even though there was no website, I was able to go to Naira Land and find out how much a room cost, so many things, because people had reviewed their experiences there. So a review culture will help, because that's information. Uh, Nigerians, uh, they have a lot of role to play also. It's by telling that good story about their, uh, their local uh, tourist sites. It's by, because most time, uh, I don't know, maybe due to the, the uh, how will I say it? Because in any country in the world, there is no place whereby government is giving every citizen in their things. So, but most times citizens come up and uh, always uh, talk evil and post stupid things about the government. Those energy they are putting, if they can use it in a positive way, it will encourage people to come into the country because uh, the any action that's being carried out of a country will tell on the, I mean, by a citizen, it will tell on that country. So is for the citizens to put more of the country at heart than their individual interests. Because whatever you are doing, it, it will reflect on your country. 